It sure has. Looking forward to that. All right, amid the pandemic, patients are dealing with symptoms such as headaches. And for some, headaches can linger longer after COVID-19. Joining us is headache neurologist Dr. Valerie Klotz with Hartford Healthcare Headache Center in Stanford. Doctor, welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So headaches after COVID-19, what are you recommending to your patients? So headache is a very common symptom of COVID-19, one of the first few symptoms patient can experience before any of the other symptoms they can have. And you don't have to have a pre-existing history of headache in order to get headache during the COVID infection. We recommend that if you continue to have prolonged headache one month after you recover from the acute illness, you should speak to your doctor and have medical evaluation. If people are taking medications around the time of getting the COVID vaccine, what should they be concerned about? This is a lot of this is a big question patients have been asking now that the vaccine is becoming more available to the general public. And they're asking, should I postpone my treatment? What if I'm having Botox this week? What if I have side effects to one of my regular uh, regularly scheduled medications? And of course, this has to be a personalized discussion between the patient and the doctor because everyone will have a different treatment plan. But the big picture is there are consequences to missing your regularly scheduled treatment for migraine that can have worse con consequences to the patient. And more than not, it would not be required to skip or postpone your regular treatment for migraine. All right. Despite new post-COVID headaches, patients are still experiencing migraines they had before. What triggers a migraine? There are so many triggers in the environment for patients. They may not even be aware about until they start keeping a very detailed diary, which, which is a lot of work for some patients. Um, migraine is a combination of your genetic predisposition and the world around you. Smells, foods, um, whether it's processed food, ingredients in a food you're regularly eating, you don't even know is there, flavoring in water, um, alcohol, Co uh, chocolate, coffee for some people. So it requires a lot of education um, for the patient, how to keep track of this, how to tease this out. Some people may even need elimination diets. Wow, that yeah, that is a lot, but it could be worth it. What is the latest in treatment for migraines? In the last few years, there have been so many new treatments for migraine for prevention of migraine and acute rescue treatment of migraine. These are tablets, they are injectable medications and even IV infusions. This has given a lot of hope to patients who've tried so many treatments and nothing has worked for them in the past and has really changed the way we take care of patients with migraine. All right, and Hartford HealthCare, always a resource right there, hartfordhealthcare.org slash headache. Dr. Valerie Klatz, neurologist, uh, thank you very much for being with us today. Good information. Thanks for having me.